Isaiah 40, 31. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. It is a good thing to wait on the Lord, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. When you wait, 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 wait. Touch your neighbor, say, wait. It's a good thing to wait on the Lord. No haste, no hurry. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. To wait. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord. To wait. Sometimes when you're waiting, it may look like everybody has left you. All your friends. You will hear Agnes is married. Eh? Ikaite is married. Uloma is married. Amina is married. Ikwo is married. Eh? Justina is married. All of them don't marry, leave me. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to wait. I've met people in life who are in a hurry. Some of them even said, hey, Bell, you don't like success. The way you're going is like you don't like success. We were in a hurry. I took my time. I followed the Lord. It may look slow. Many of them, where are they today? I'm still here coming. I'm still here coming. I'm still. Some of them, we don't know where they are in this life. They told me to my face, it looks like you don't like success. <laughs> they want to put me under pressure. <laughs> I took my time and I'm still taking my time. A lady met me a few years ago. She said, Papa, if you know what God has done for me, I said, what did God talk to me about it? She said, I was in a quiet bomb. Every Saturday, I will attend a friend's wedding. Every Saturday, I will attend a friend's wedding. At a point, they reduce me to usher. Every of their wedding I go, they will make me share food. They will make me share food. All my friends married, including the junior ones. I, I, I said to God, what is it now? Nobody is talking to me about marriage. Well, she kept just serving the Lord and faithfully waiting on the Lord. Mama and I know the lady. She's from a choir bomb here. She said one day they just arranged one wedding like that. And she went to the wedding. And one British expatriate came for the wedding from England. On arrival, he saw her mistakenly or as for arrange, she served him food. And he liked her. So he said, young lady, what's your name? She told him, um, where do you go to church? She told him, and all of that. So, after that wedding reception, he went to her pastor. And said to the pastor, there's a lady that was serving me food today. I'm interested, I want to marry. I've been looking for a wife for years now. But I really feel this is my wife. Who are you? Blah, blah, blah. Got the details. Oh, talk to his pastor in London. Everything is okay. He's a faithful brother. He's on fire for God. Blah, blah, blah. All right. You want to marry her? Your pastor has told me you're okay. She's a wonderful. She's one of the best we have. She's a wonderful sister. Giving to the Lord. Loves the Lord. He said, I want to marry her. Quickly. I will do the traditional marriage within the next few days. Can we meet our parents? That's how they met the parents. Sharp, sharp. Within one week, they have finished traditional marriage. Within another week, the man has already fixed wedding, white wedding, you know, and as an expatriate, he invited different countries. On our wedding day, people flew from all over the place, came into a choir bomb here, they flew flags of different nations. All those people she was busy serving food in their wedding, they were treating her like uh, receptionists. They came with their children and they were serving food in her own wedding. <laughs> After the wedding, they flew to London. They live in London. They live in London. Not... SKP, they live in London. 
You didn't hear what I said. You didn't hear what I said. Wait on the Lord. It is a good thing to wait on the Lord. You cannot be wasted if you're waiting on the Lord. Am I teaching here? Yeah, it may look like life has left you. Eh, life never leaves a man that is with Christ. Christ is life. You didn't hear what I just said. Life never leaves a man that is in Christ. Christ is life. Don't be frustrated. Don't be desperate. Follow God's plan. Everything is step by step. No haste. No hurry. 